one of the things we've been talking about for the last day and a half is about, you know, it's a confluence of art and architecture and technology and writing and all these kinds of things. And none of it can happen unless corporations and much larger minds take this conversation seriously as well. So when we started working with Accenture and thinking of the program they had, which is about tech for good, we thought it's such a great way to bring a large thinking to many specific problems, but in a way that there is a platform on which we can look at these problems in an interesting way. How can we make tech for good a lifestyle for all of us, you know, something that's important for all of us? And so I will give it away to Sanjeev at Accenture to take it from here. Indeed an honor to uh, share with all of you the vision that inspires us and grounds us the work we do out of the Accenture Labs. We know about the sustainable development goals and we also know that it is extremely uh, difficult to solve these goals at scale. And uh, as a technologist, as a, uh, as a lab person, a lab head, we believe that um, technology will be a very key ingredient in helping us scale up the social impact if we have to achieve those goals. And uh, from the lab perspective, we have been working with a number of different uh, NGOs uh, and we, we looked at the girl child and we said, hey, some of this work that we are doing, you know, how do we uh, positively impact the life of the girl child from the embryo to the cycle of employment? And we believe that if we can help her in this journey, we will be transforming generations. Some of the work I have listed here, we recently finished pilot in the state of Karnataka for integrated child development services. And it's one of the largest social innovation program. And then you follow up with the work we are right now doing with Akshay Patra, where they are trying to get the, the children back to school by giving them midday meal. So from the time we are talking about the girl child, the first thousand days, taking care of the mother and the child to ensuring she gets into the school you know, that's an effort that we are working with Akshay Patra. You know, each of these programs, they need to scale. And how do they scale with technology, right? Today, these programs all work in silos. How do we break the silos? How do we bring them all together, create an ecosystem, you know, where all the players, whether it's technology companies, social innovators, you know, change makers like all of you who want to accelerate this journey of change, right? You can be a part of this journey and you know you can increase the impact. So uh, this year we are going to work very closely with NASCOM Foundation as a technology advisor. We provide pro bono advice to all these foundations. So that that is a vision. And uh, you know uh, at this point I would just um, uh, like to invite my friend uh, Sridhar Venkat to come and talk about the scale scaling the transformation is trying to bring in with Akshay Patra. Worlds population of most malnourished children is in India. 30% of them are in India. And they are missing out on benefits of education. That's where my organization started this program with a vision that no child in India will be deprived of education because of hunger. We started very small uh, in the year 2000 with just 1500 children. Today we are feeding 1.5 million children in 27 locations. And... 11 states and 11,000 schools. The poorest of poor children go to government schools because you get free education there. And about 50% of them are girl children. What we do basically is we give these children otherwise what their mothers would have cooked if they had money. So every day the menu changes. So we have this large kitchen, centralized kitchen infrastructure in uh, 23 locations and we have three decentralized kitchens. And in a period of seven hours, 1.5 million children are fed across the country. You know, we were predominantly a South-based NGO. We started with just 1,500 children. When we saw the applications for 100,000 children, we didn't know how to make it happen. That's where technology came to help. And we leveraged uh, industrial steam boilers for cooking rice. So we have a two-ton boiler and a 100,000 capacity kitchen, which can cook rice for 1,000 children in about... 45 minutes. Now, when we went to North, the North Indian children don't eat rice every day. So, we innovated a 
roti making machine with in house uh, engineering 10000 rotis per hour then we invested 30% more on it and created a machine which can make 40000 rotis per hour and today we have a proto of a machine which can make 60000 rotis per hour now this is from india made in india for india use of technology here for social good now with the help of accenture we are looking at automating many of the production areas using sensors we are looking at internet of things we are looking at automating um, school indents so this is expected to bring in a saving of about food for about 35000 more children or converted into whole year it will be around 8 million meals we'll be able to and this is as a pilot we have the world's largest kitchen in hubli which can make 250000 meals in a period of 6 hours and that's where i believe the technology and support from people like accenture and nascom foundation will really take us to the next level and really technology for good will be seen in action thank you so much i request my friend rumi to come forward to talk about nascom foundation the nascom social innovation forum is a program of nascom foundation we are a not for profit set up by nascom our goal is to empower people through technologies this is one of the programs that we run why it matters to us is as we are saying that whether you are a small not for profit or a large organization we always see the value where technology can bring in in terms of impact and scale this program for us is one platform that helps us to do that uh, for us this platform um, has been for 8 8 years now over the years we have been able to identify more than 1000 plus innovations in all these areas that we have discussed as well as supported and rewarded more than 100 innovators this is a national level program we run it like a challenge every year where we look at uh, those innovations that are scalable replicable and can go beyond a geography and beyond a community the goal is very ambitious we have to provide livelihood reducing vulnerabilities uh, getting prenatal postnatal care all of these are big goals to be achieved and we strongly believe it can't be done unless technology is playing a role we also believe that one organization and one company really can't achieve it hence we as a platform would be able to really catalyze some of this some of these innovations and innovators to take the next step as nascom and nascom foundation we bring in different competencies and strengths we as a platform bring together corporates uh, technologists social entrepreneurs entrepreneurs like you and social impact experts who come together to understand what the problem is and create solutions for that this year we are we are working with accenture lab to build develop and refine uh, selected solutions that can go beyond a geography and a community this is for us a very important step forward what we have seen in the sector is we understand social impact or we understand technology the balance or the the marriage between the two is rare so we feel this platform and this kind of collaborations can actually help us do that we are looking for applications we are looking for innovators we are looking for change makers who can come to the platform and actually present their ideas and prototypes to us that will help us scale and take them to the next level help them reach more beneficiaries you know we we love the idea of transformation and we are looking at uh, the next big thing or the few big things to happen that can lead to that transformation so with our partners we hope to create more sustainable value for the community we also believe and if i may that there is a pot of gold at the end of this uh, market too it's a big market that you're looking at so we invite entrepreneurs change makers and all of you to consider this as tech for good as an option to also uh, engage in explore and find innovative solutions thank you so in case there are any question for sanjay shridhar or me we would love to take them thanks rumi what do you do during the holiday period you have they get meals on on every day during the days when school are there school is there then you have some seasonal holidays and you have the summer vacation is there anything that's done during that period so we are a public private partnership with government of india and state governments we feed during the schooling days but wherever there is a mandate from the government to feed during holidays we do uh, feed during holidays time and if there is a donor who comes forward and says feed all the 365 days uh, we go ahead and do that but as of now the answer is no we are not but at least the schooling days the whole idea is if we give a good meal the child will come to school and we have seen this happening more with girl children question for accenture besides providing technical help in 
you know, do you also provide some sort of strategy to bring it on technology? Because we can't just use technology without having a strategy for it. So do you first understand and then also provide that kind of support? You're right. It's not just technology. We like kind of look at the business models also. We, we, because we try to make sure they're grounded. They are, you know, they are really thinking in the right direction because nowadays many of them are very young people and they have very high ambition. So we want to make sure they are successful. So we, we do look into all that aspect as well. But our primary focus is to enable them with technology, you know, give them the right technology advice.